understand what is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing basically refers to a scenario where you share links to the products and services that you've personally used or you're ready to recommend. When someone else uses your link and purchases any of these products or services, you will get a small commission in return. It is a win-win situation. You share products and services that will help your audience solve a pain point and you get paid for it. Affiliate marketing is a popular way to make money on a blog. But what if you don't own a blog? Don't worry, you can still use the same concept and apply it on Pinterest. There is an entire thing called Pinterest affiliate marketing and how to make money on Pinterest. And we are going to discuss the same in this video. The basic concept is that you're going to create new pins each and every day that directly land on the product or services page that you're an affiliate of. But first things first, when you have decided to make money on Pinterest with affiliate marketing, the first thing you need to do is to select a niche and understand your target audience. So who are you going to target? What kind of products are you going to refer? You cannot be all over the place. So let's say you have decided that your target audience is going to be stay-at-home moms or work around moms. What kind of boards can you create on Pinterest? So you can go with toddler snacks, you can go with meal preparation, you can go with crafts, you can go with things that you can do with your children, outdoor activities, you can do foods that your kids love, etc. Those kind of things that will attract a stay-at-home mom. Then you can go ahead and find affiliate marketing programs that deal with these specific things. So let's say that you have decided to do something that is related to DIY or crafts. So what kind of boards will you create? You will create boards that deal with that. So DIY craft ideas, DIY crafts that you can do with your kids. Quick DIYs, easy DIYs. And those kind of things. Inspiration for future projects. Then you can go ahead and look for affiliate marketing programs that deal with crafts and supplies. Similarly, let's say that you want to promote products that are about blogging. Then you have to create boards like business tools or affiliate marketing for bloggers or SEO for bloggers. Look for courses and look for affiliate marketing programs that teach all these, courses that teach this, or tools that bloggers can use and then create pins for them. If you're a fashion enthusiast and if you want to make money referring or promoting a fashion-related affiliate marketing programs, then you have to create boards like favorite shirts, summer styles, winter styles, or pants, shoes, office styles, etc. And then promote those then create pins that promote affiliate marketing you're a part of. I hope you get the point. If you don't, then you can leave a comment below and I will respond to your queries. Once you're clear about who you are going to target, you will find it easier. Actually, you will find it much easier to find affiliate marketing programs that cater to your needs. So there are three or four major affiliate marketing platforms you can sign up with. Those are uh, those are actually affiliate marketing networks so on that on the same platform you will find thousands and thousands of affiliate marketing programs in every niche first is share a sale second impact radius third flex offers and fourth cj.com that is commission junction i will link to all four of them in the description box below so do not forget to check it out now that we have learned what is affiliate marketing once you're clear what niche you're going to choose and what kind of target market you're going to have, let's understand Pinterest tips and tricks that will help you make money on Pinterest with affiliate marketing links. This is the home page. So this is my Pinterest account. What you have to do is to create a Pinterest business account when you are signing up with them. So you go to pinterest.com and then you sign up for a business account. The second thing you have to do is to go to boards that is here and create a new board. You can decide on the name here. So let's say DIY craft. You can create the board. Pinterest will prompt you to save some new pins to your board. These are the most popular pins, so I recommend you pin at least 10 of them. Right now, I'm not going to do it. Click on this pencil. Here is the name DIY Crafts. Remember that when you are naming a board, it has to be something that your audience will search for. It is supposed to be a keyword 
and it will only appear if you are using something which is which is searchable so do not get very creative with it be as simple as possible and use keywords this is the description you are going to describe in as many keywords as you can as to what this board is about you select the category from here so we have decided diy crafts so it's here if it is cars and motorcycles it's here home decor hair beauty health fitness men's fashion outdoor photography you have all sorts of options if you do not understand what to put it in put it in others or put it in education okay and then you save it and then you can go to profile and see so this board is created here I'm going to delete it because DIY crafts is not my niche. So, how do you find what names should you give your board? You can go to the search bar and put in your first keyword. So, let's put crafts. Let's go to people. And let's go to the first one, ugly duckling house. So she talks about DIY, home, woodworking, camper, crafts, and recipes. You can see all her boards here. So you have to do a little bit of work here. Scroll down, check all her 96 boards, and see what board names has she given. Considering that she is the first person to come up for the word crafts, which is a very generic term, she has a perfectly SEO optimized profile. So you can get inspiration from her. board names and have the same sort of boards so you can have diy clever ideas you can have decor you can have trends you can have interiors fireplaces you can have party planning ideas you can have gift wrapping ideas holidays halloween you can have diy tools diy woodworking diy crafts and recipes so you can go on searching in the same fashion The next thing that I want you to do is to search for people in your niche. So DIY and crafts give me this result. So go and follow all these people. The next thing that I want you to do is to search with the keyword that you have decided to name your board with. So let's say the name of your board is DIY crafts for kids. I want you to save these pins to the board. Save at least five pins every day for the next six to seven months. This will help Pinterest understand what is the nature of your board, what sort of pins you are pinning to them, and it will also make your personal board strong. It is very important that you do this step and do not skip this. The next thing I want to do is to create new pins. So pins are these things that you can see here. They have to be tall. Remember that all the pins that you create needs to be tall. You have to make these pins. You can use canva.com. It is a free tool for graphic creation. I will link it in the description box below so you can check it out. So what you have to do is to make pins like this. Take up one of your affiliate programs. See what is it about. It is about a tool. Make make a pin which has tools in it or make a pin which says best tools for diy crafts or best tools for uh, diy crafts for kids what you will have to do is to go here and create a pin you will have to download the image in jpg format and upload it here by clicking here you can upload it add the title here the description here and here you will add the affiliate link to the program that you are promoting So when you publish it, it and somebody clicks on this pin, they will directly go to the landing page of the product or the service that you are promoting. You can add many pins from here and schedule them. It will be so you can actually sit down one day of the week and pin for the entire week. At this point, I am not recommending you to use Tailwind, but Tailwind is a tool which will help you schedule all the pins out at once for the entire month. You can actually. Schedule pins for the entire duration you want to. You can actually use Tailwind and schedule out pins for three to four months at one stretch. 
All you have to do is sit down one day and everything will run on autopilot. I will link to Tailwind in the description box below. You can go check it out. It is an amazing tool and I have been using it for over a year and it has helped me get more than 100,000 page views to my blog in a single month. So this is all about how to use affiliate links on Pinterest or how to carry out Pinterest affiliate marketing or how to make money on Pinterest with affiliate links. There are some best practices that you need to follow when you're doing affiliate marketing on any platform, like be it a blog, a YouTube channel or on Pinterest. I learned all the right marketing tactics from various courses and various blog posts that I have read. It is the best and the most affordable Pinterest affiliate marketing course that is out there in the market. And it will teach you everything you need to know on how to make money on Pinterest with affiliate links. When I started out, I made such huge blunders for which I could have been sued or I could have been banned from affiliate marketing programs. Thank God I did not. But I could have been. I have made those blunders and and I don't want you to be making them. This course that I'm talking about that is Pin to Profits will make you aware of many, many, many things that you probably are not aware of right now. If you are interested in making $200 in a day on Pinterest with affiliate links, this is exactly what you need. I will link to this course in the description box below. It is extremely affordable and I stand behind the course. The person who has created it is an amazing person. You can read all about her on the sales page that I'll be linking in the description box below. You can use my link and use the promo code PINMONEY to get a $10 discount on the course.